What's up? Welcome back. It's Kleos again. Sorry for the long delay in recaps. Unfortunately, we have had a break for SCCWL and a few wars where we weren't doing recaps like Puppet Masters. But anyway, we're back with another recap, this time against Kronos. Now, they're a legendary clan. Um, just I followed them back in the day. I'm pretty sure everybody did. But back to back to back to back champs in CWL and ND, actually NDL. Anyway, sick history for them. But they're back, unretired, and unfortunately, we came out with it for them. We came out with the victory this time. Fortunately for us, um, there was a mismatch involved. We did have two extra 13s, but otherwise the breakdowns were the same. They had two extra 11s to make up for our two extra 13s. So obviously unfair, but I, but I do not believe at all that would have changed the outcome since um, their hit rates were great at 10 and 11, but um, at missile and poor at 12 and 13. So that was unfortunate for them. We, however, performed great at Town Hall 13. We were four for seven at 13. Uh, we weren't that great. We weren't that great at um, 12. We were nine for 20, so 45 percent. Not up to our usual standards, but still not a horrible performance. Above league average, 12 percent above league average. So I guess it's not horrible for 12. And for 11s, we cleared um, at 57 percent. So that was nice. Um, for our first hit this war, we're gonna show. Evil coming in on their base with the Zapwalo. So we did we did get some new members. So I'm gonna try to get all the new members in a recap too. And uh, yeah, so if you're not in this recap, I apologize. I had to cut a lot of good attacks in this one. So when I saw him do this hit, I'm like, well, that's not a lot of value for seven zaps or six zaps in a quake, but. He's going to make this work. His Sui is going to be excellent. He's going to find the Tesla farm on the Sui. One of the things I really like, um, now I haven't seen many other people make use of them, but are the party wizards, special event wizards. Um, I love them. They're a huge help. When attacking, not a huge help, but just fun to use, and they are definitely more helpful for cleaning up faster. Anyway, Hisui is going to get a scatter, the Royal Champ, and the Town Hall. Talk about OP value. Actually, it's not going to get the Town Hall. He was not planning to get the Town Hall, even though he is. So, kind of a wasted blimp, but it's not going to matter. Sends in loons to direct target the scatter, and he's going to lolo just around the base. The queen is still up from the Sui. That's when you know you did an excellent job. Eagle shots misses loons, so no need to ward in. And he is going to save the Warden until going into that last Inferno. Now, he's a bit of a risk taker. He took absolutely zero cleanup. He took maybe one or two cleanup minions. So, yeah. I'm pretty sure he just forgot them. Not sure what his plan was there. Had to use the Headhunters for cleanup. So that's kind of funny. Anyway, great hit from Thieve. He actually... Of, we'll see what he, how he did. He had swag to Hell 13 hit, but he six packed on his swag to 13 on his jewels account, but six packed on a feeble and fail pack to 11. Oops, sorry. But anyway, he six packed at 13. That's pretty sick. All right, our next hit this war is going to be on number seven, and it's going to be by Alliance. So Alliance is an OG member, been in the clan longer than I have. But he's finally back in wars because he did take a bit of a break. And he is going to be back with the hybrid. Obviously, this is an internet clash with Cory base. But I had to show Alliance because he's back and we're glad to have him back. Plus, it's still a pretty sick hit. So, 
so he is gonna accidentally drop his healers in the range of the AD, so he's gonna um, f make a quick adjustment and freeze it, which is smart. He does still lose two healers to it, which is unfortunate, but he does get the OP triple layer wall break, so yeah, not much this base can do. Another great freeze with the freeze in the headhunters and poison on the witches. This clan was running a lot of troll CCs. Um, I don't remember they running them running one hound. It was either ba Inferno Baby or Headhunter CCs, so that was interesting. They do force you to use freezes, but a good hound or golem can also be devastating. Siege Barracks at 12, and he's going to send the hybrid straight down the gut. Starting it on the town hall. Going to have to ward him because he wasn't able to delay the hogs. And his queen is going to die out here because he did lose the healers earlier, which is unfortunate. But it's not going to end up mattering. Yeah, so much is left up, and he's got enough cleanup, even to make up for the troll Tesla farm at 6. OP hit, glad to have a lion's back for sure. Our next hit will be Biscuit on 8. He does make the recaps a lot. But that's because his plans are just exquisite. So, unfortunately, I had to show this one because of how good of a plan it was. We were talking about it in Discord, and he's just watch how much he's going to end up swagging on this attack. And, like, normally Yeti Smash attacks aren't really, like, attacks where you swag things. Like, you just have to use everything because you're using the spells pretty early and stuff like that. Like, spells for the core, you have to use the jumps and the earthquakes, but... You just just watch. Well, I guess if you're watching the video, you're watching. But you know what I mean. So he's setting a nice sneaky gal funnel at nine. He is gonna have to raise the warden walk because it's taking forever. Baby two to help clear even more of a funnel. And I believe he's gonna send in a couple loons. Yep, there we go. This was also fresh, so yeah. And just these yetis have nowhere, once he gets that elixir collector and mortar down, these yetis have nowhere to go but the town hall. Nice job on the warden, getting him to step out of the expo range, sending in the super wall breaker to break open the town hall compartment. And the core is just already equipped. He has access to both back end infernos and the eagle. Delayed King to cut out the funnel on the 3 to 6 side. And the base is wrecked at this point. He doesn't even need to use the slammer. He's going to use it, so I guess so he doesn't time fail, but he definitely doesn't need the heal. Even though he is going to use the hit heal, because I guess he's nice and doesn't want to swag it. Even though he really doesn't heal anything. So yeah, uh, another OP hit from Biscuit this war. Nothing new. He, like me, is a big, big uh, fan of the party whiz, which is nice. Always good to have friends in solidarity for the party whiz. All right. The next hit will be me on 15, and not my account, but anyway, I'm going to be hitting 15. So, you know, because it's my YouTube channel, not my YouTube channel, but the Rising Legacy YouTube channel, and I'm just creating this video, you're, if you are a member of Rising Legacy and want to do a recap, let me know. But because it's I'm doing this recap, I have to put my triple in, or one of my triples in. 
because you know it's a dictatorship not a democracy so anyway my thought process was look at the value if i get in the eagle compartment if i can get my queen to funnel into the eagle compartment i'm set so he's given me the whiz to clear the trash at um three and then i was like this is town hall 11. i really don't need freezes i can just pop the ability if he has a control cc which he did spoiler alert but anyway king did cut more even more of a funnel and this charge went even better than i expected to be honest i love town 11. two expos and a king on my queen and she isn't even losing health because she's under rage but still a little late in the poison so i might have been able to avoid a uh, queen ability there if I was a little earlier in the poison, but it's not gonna matter. Once again, I screw up my minor split. It's like the second time that's happened in the last four wars because I go with a two finger drop and some go to the builder hut. And you're gonna see some great heal placements here. It's a joke, that was a horrible heal, but it's not gonna matter because of all the value I got. So, when I'm playing for a town of 11 base, I look for pretty much minors primarily. So I look for bats first, because bats are pretty easy, but most of these bases have good splash spreads and it's hard to plan a bat attack. Bat attacks are pretty base specific. So then I look for the second easiest town 11 attack, which is miners. And to do miners, all, you, all I need is to get one of the infernos or the, CC, or the eagle. I need to get one of those three and the CC. I need to get, so three things I need. CC, one of the infernos or an eagle, and I also need to create pathing. So you could use the Yeti bomb as well, but nobody uses that at town 11. All you need to do is create a somewhat straight or somewhat L shaped line of path for your miners, and that's what I did. It's, I've gone four for four in the past two wars of at, at town 11, not to brag or anything, but again. Just create the path in for Town 11 and you're set. However, Town 11 is harder than that on some of these Eagle Island bases. Um, those are definitely not my specialty. But Dracula, they're a specialty for him. He's a new member and he is going to be showing off this, showing off with the Queen Charge Hogs. Look at that transition, guys. I went from talking about Eagle Island bases to watching a replay of Eagle Island bases. I mean, I'm moving up in the world, even though I'm still screen recording these. Though I'm commenting while screen recording, so I guess that's somewhat better. And I have music. He's going to lure the CC with, uh, I believe, goblins or archers, not sure. And it's going to go over to his queen as soon as the Inferno Dragon makes its long trip to the minion. Unfortunately, you're going to have to pop the ability for the Inferno Dragon. And I don't know, I doubt he was playing that, but his queen is going to beat the wall, which is nice. So yeah, Town 11 is at a really nice spot right now. Maybe a little too easy, but Town 12s and 13 are pretty well balanced. 13 might be a little too easy as well, but... I guess town 11 has to be easy eventually because of basically the way town 10 is gone as well. So anyway, he's going to send in the slammer on the mortar to get the multi and to create pathing. So skinny pathing, again, game of pathing. He needs to get the hogs to path to the eagle somehow. So how does he do that? He sends in a slammer to narrow the inferno and he's going to heal the hogs inside the slammer. So everything will path towards the inferno. And his queen is going to die, so the hogs are going to take out 75% of this base. The queen basically got an inferno and enemy queen, and CC. So that's my checklist. The queen helped create pathing, the slammer created more pathing, and he got CC with the queen charge. He got all three, and that's why he's going to triple. And he's going to swag two freezes, because why not?
I guess he doesn't technically swag them, but he did kind of swag them. Great hit from Dracula, and overall, a great war from Rising Legacy.